Good day everyone. Today we will talk about the topic which is the reader. We are the home based five. I am Nestle and Marcise, together with uh, Grisel Me Saladaga, Kate Ebanez, uh, Angel Christine Sinagoti, and RJ Rupenta. So let's start. The reader. Reading can be defined in many different ways. It's a process of putting meaning to the text. It is a process of getting meaning from the text. It's a cycle of linguistic guessing game. It's the key to unlock the words of enlightenment. It is a basic tool for learning in all areas. And common to all definitions above is the concept of meaning. Reading and reading comprehension are as are as a fair, as a parable. Through reading, we can put a meaning in the text, we can get a meaning from the text, and we will inform what is the text all about. And all in all, it is the basic tool for learning. Next is, reading is a task, is a different from learning to walk or talk. Upon maturation, they will naturally develop. Reading is learning a different way. Many factors should be considered that, like mental ability, environmental stimu stimulation, and etc. Next is developmental, in a sense that reading skills are developed from simple to complex from an early part of life until adulthood. Purpose of reading Informational reading Informational reading, it is the fact about something that provides information to the readers. Next is recreational or pleasure reading. Recreational or pleasure reading is to give satisfaction or enjoyment to the reader. Next is functional reading or public use. Functional reading or public use, it is having a special task, activity, or purpose to the reader. Next, the three main groups of reading theories. Bottom up of the fixed reading starting with the inputs of some graphic signal or stimulus. The role of the reader, reader is to get meaning from the text based on the stimulus or the words used. This is also called a data grabbing process. Bottom up reading of is the, the reader must get the meaning from the text based on the word, the word in the text. That the read, that the read. Next is the top down of the fixed reading beginning with the cognitive processes occurring in the reader's mind as he or she reads. The role of the reader is to give meaning to the text based on the information already held within the, the reader's store or prior knowledge. This is also called concept driving processing. The top down is the reader must give the meaning to the text based on the information within the text. Next is interactive of depicts reading as the process of constructing meaning through the dynamic interaction among the reader's existing knowledge. The information suggested that by writing language and the context of the reading situation. In interactive of, it is a process of constructing meaning. Next is the scramble jumble words and language recognition theory. This is a jumble word. According to the research at Cambridge University, it doesn't matter in what order the letters in a word are. The only important thing is that the first and the last letter be the right be at the right place. The sets can be a total miss and you can still read it without a problem. This is because the human mind does not read every letter by itself, but it is the word as a whole. Amazing, huh? So let's proceed to the stages of reading development. So we have here the stage one or emergent literacy, birth to five years. So birth to five years since birth until five years old. So learn primarily through direct sensory contact and physical information perception based conditions. So this stage 
that uh, children or a child can develop through the manipulation, manipulation of the situation based on his surroundings. So, second so experience difficulty putting experiences into words. So, we can put their experiences, their knowledge, or their um, nga, ano na sa, insight nila silang magalingon into a language. So, just like for example, a child is uh, no siya on statement, isa ka statement na iyahang ma-share nito sa iyahang parents. Then, rapid language growth. Explore writing in the form of scribbles. Letter-like forms are invented spelling. So, they can more invent, uh, they can make or invent spelling, uh, scribbles. Or just like for example, they can write a letter or a simple letter or a lovely form. Egocentric. Love being read through and can appear in the fairy tales often enough. How poorly developed concept of possession. Like the elements of rhyme, repetition, and alteration. So this is just the child or children can eliminate those rhymes, those um, uh, letter of uh, the reader, uh, the reading comprehension, interpretation, and the alteration to develop their reading comprehension. So, proceed to stage two. Stage two, stage two or early reading. Kindergarten and first grade. So, at this stage, the students or our child are start, started to gain knowledge from school. So first, he or she can manipulate objects and ideas mentally. So, the students or children talk and um, can recognize a thing or can recognize a uh, example of a given topic or a sample of a title of a book or a thing that you can see in their surroundings. Second, so, can reason logically. So, they can reason or makakuan sila mga Hata sila reserve or mga tubal sila sa sakto na pattern. Then, have difficulty comprehending underlying principles. So, they have underlying principles. Have evolving graphs of alphabetic principles. So, let's proceed to stage 3. Growing independence, way 2 and 3. So, this stage can be found in way 2 and 3. So, first thing. He or she develop involving fluency. So involving fluency, it talks about their flowing in how to talk. Extensive reading of both fiction and non-fiction. So they can talk about or they can um, share a story about a fictional story or a non-fictional story. Become more appreciative of stories involving the lives of others. So based on uh, someone's experience, they can relate it to themselves. Then. Judge with the reading effectively and personally rather than by using standards. So, each of us has standards in reading. So, here we can see that the child can well effectively personally, they can judge and based on what they read. Then, we have difficulty explaining why you do like a selection. So, it's like, for, for example, uh, a child, gusto siya magpapalit o gulaan sa iyahang gilikanan, which is, he, he or she can explain something that ganong ganahan siya or ganong gusto na inyong mapalitod. So, with that, he develops their critical thinking na ito difficult to explain something. Stage 4. So, stage 4 or reading to learn. So, this stage from grade 4 through grade 6. Why is application of word data and comprehension skills? So, in this um, stage, the child or a student can, um, can actually um, recognize this word that I can engage in skills. So like for example, a teacher gives a uh, quiz which is the scrambled words that we, they are um, going to arrange it. So in that stage, the students are um, showing this kid his or her white explanation and explaining or um, Constructing those words that they are need to be answered. Next is much greater emphasis is placed on grasping information text. Then, so greater emphasis 
we can emphasize emphasis is placed on the streaming information. So based on what way they can actually make it or use it as um, their uh, use it from their own experience, their vocabulary and their own insights. And the signal load is going to increase significantly significantly. Last one from say four is words in listening vocabulary. So some of the students can uh, can recognize text or words by listening or according to voca their vocabulary that they can easily uh, easily recognize those text and words. Step five, abstract reading or grade seven and up. So they can construct multiple hypotheses. So when they say multiple hypotheses, those words are stumbled words and it's like reflection and AC, they can make it or reconstruct it in these stages. Then evaluation of readings become more elaborate and reflect evolving set of standard for judging. So they can evaluate themselves according to it or her his or her information and also based on experience plan. So Stages of reading, development, or in other model. So, stage pre-reading. So, first stage is pre-reading, oral language development. So, this a stage of what they can actually uh, use to take oral language development in their reading competition. Stage 1 is initial reading. Letters represent sound, sound spelling, relationship. relationship. So, letters represent sound like a is for A, B is B. Stage 2 is confirmation and fluency. So this stage, they can confirm their fluency, fluency in how they talk, in how they read, in how they will communicate to something to someone. So decoding skills, fluency, additional strategies, this is belong to stage 2, which is confirmation and fluency. Stage 3, reading the learning, the new. So they can expand more vocabularies, build background and world knowledge, develop strategic habits. So we can build their backgrounds or background in their knowledge inside or other um, their in how they can take actually and uh, just like for example an impromptu speech. So stage four, multiple viewpoints. So analyze text critically and understand multiple points of view. So, this stage, the child can develop their um, reflection. They can write easily reflection, essays, and more on. Um, they can talk to someone with their own vocabulary. Stage five, the last stage, is construction and reconstruction. The strong understanding based on analysis and synthesis. So, in this stage, the child doesn't uh didn't lang kay na pattern, which is they can construct understanding based in analysis, based on their insight and based on their knowledge. So my topic is all about reading comprehension. So reading com comprehension is the capacity to perceive and understanding the meanings communicated by text. So reading comprehension is common to us like reading and uh, reading Dalina tong makuha kung masaktan nila tong mga words like like nagbasa tayong story dahil dahil natay words nga natay words nga wala na po kuha na tong nasaktan so pwede po na atong siyang i-translate or makuha kung na parang may understand din na to ang, ang text The next is literal Literal is reading the lines Interpretative reading between the lines Then critical reading reading beyond the lines and then evaluative and creative is metacognition so generally reading comprehension skills are so I know of comprehension skills first is no details no details um, no big answers to who how why questions the next is demonstrate knowledge of story grammar by being able to identify identify the settings, characters, and main event, main events. So, so sa nakita nila, nakabasang kita of the story. So, sa story, we need to find the kung asa ang settings, kung pinsa characters, kung pinsa to ang main events. Next is, get the main idea. So, first is distinguish big ideas from small ideas. So, in story, so we need to find 
and give appropriate title. They will identify key sentence, scheme, the general idea on what the material is about. Then next is find the topic sentence. The next comprehension, reading comprehension skills are organized ideas. So in this organized ideas, we need to classify the related ideas and concepts under proper headings. Next is give a heading or title for text. The next, the next reading comprehension skills is sequence, sequence events. Uh, sequence events are perceived relationships, relationship. And sequence events identify cause, cause, then effect relationship. The next is give cause, then effect relationship in paragraph, passage, just read. We have a six categories of reading comprehension you are sure to face to face. The first, the first category of reading comprehension, reading questions is my main idea questions that test your ability to find the central top of a passage or to judge its significance of and take the following forms. So in this main idea, um, the we need to the following form is the main point of the passage is two. The next is the passage. Passage is primarily concerned with. Next is the author's primary purpose in the passage is two. The next is the chief theme of the passage can be best described as. The next is which of the following titles best describe the content of the passage. And the, the last the last main idea question is which of the following statements best expresses the main idea of the passage. The next category is finding specific details. So in finding specific details, questions that test your ability to understand what the author states, states explicitly or often more in finding In finding specific details, um, we need to find out what is according to the author. The author states, states all the following except that according to passage, the sheet characteristic of the subject is. The next is which of the following statements is or are based supported by the passage. The next is which of the following is not cited in the passage as evidence of. So the next category is, is drawing inferences questions. So that tests your ability to go beyond the offer explicit statements and see what these statements imply may be worded. So in this drawing inferences question, it can be inferred from the passage or the passage suggests suggest that the author would support which of the following views. The author implies that the author apparently feels that they are, according to the passage, it's likely that the passage is most likely directed toward an audience of. And the last drawing inferences question is which of the following statements about can be inferred from the passage. The next category of reading questions is tone, tone attitudes questions. So, that takes your ability to sense an author's character's emotional state open the work. So in this tone attitudes question is the author's attitude to the problem can best describe us. So example, so read that story. So we need to kailangan yung sa author mama na describe niya po kung saan yung problema ko ang story. The next is which of the following best describe the author's tone in the passage. Next is the author's author's tone in the passage is that of person attempting to that. Next is the author's presentation is marked by a tone of the passage indicates that the author says experiences a feeling of. Okay, the next the next categories of reading question skills is determining the meaning of the words from their context. So question that test your ability to work out the meaning of the familiar words from their context often are worded. So, 
So in this categories, if na ate word na wala kang subtan or or unfamiliar words, madikit na tayo familiar kita mo na words. So we need to we need to find the meaning kung sa gitna sa bata talo nga subtan din nato and the and determining the meaning and determining the meaning of the words from the context is as it used in the passage the term can be described. So make sure na kapo mo term madiskip kito siya or Ayon. So, the phrase is used in the passage to mean that in the passage, the word means the author uses the phrase to describe. Last categories of reading, reading, reading question skills is technique questions that test your ability to recognize passage method of organization or technique open and hardware test. So, in this, in this category is, um, Uh, which of the following best describe the development of the text of this passage? Then, in presenting the argument, the author does all the following except, and the next is the relationship between the second paragraph and the first paragraph can best describe. Also, if if nakakwan kita, if nakakwan kita the story, we need to we need to I we need to differentiate the second paragraph and the first paragraph from the Second, second, first paragraph and second paragraph. Kung sa ilang di, di, di pa ako. The next is the passage. The author makes the central point primarily by, and the, and the last, and the last is the organization. The passage can be basically described as. And this is a critical reading. So in critical reading, you should be skeptical. Just because it, it's in print doesn't mean it is right. So when we say skeptical, which is kind of unsure, you are undecided to you are undecided of what you read. So you should uh, you should kind of be talang imojud siya kinahalan nga kind of tanawon si mo kung some point tanas sa yung ibasa. Like for example, ah. Uh, kanang a teacher kana naghatag siya sa estudyante ug kanang activities and then after ato is kana tawbon sa estudyante kana tawbon taw, uh, taw sa teacher we own na nahuman na ba ang kanang mga activities so if ang estudyante gani na himon siya nga kanang kanang we already done their activities so and then ang teacher is kanang nakaunaw na siya nga mga na hinay yung pananaw sa estudyante kana bitaw Tanaw niya ang word na mudpok tayo yung anak. She or he is undecided sa kung kung saan niya nakita or kung saan niya nabasa yung anak siya. And then also, fact-oriented. Give me the facts and convince me that they are the relevant ones. So, fact-oriented. You can use actual piece of information para sa you para pito ka ng makabalod yung kag-ayo sa inyong nabasa. Which is, magamit ka ka ng mga a uh, uh, piece of information which is kind of relevant relevant sa among estudyante and also kind of makita sa palibot palibot ng mga information and then and then kind of makakonvince makakonvince sa imong mga uh, estudyante na na siya and then also the third one is ana analytic analytic how was the work being organized so when we see analytics so It is reasonable, good, or logic. You should uh, analyze. You should analyze of what you read so that you come up with it. Kana bitang organize ang imong pagka organize ang imong ana imong knowledge about ato. And it also open minded. Be prepared to listen to different points of view. Do not be restricted by personal biases. So open minded. You have a broad knowledge which is kana. And you should listen from side to side opinions. You know, and also uh, questioning. So, what are conclusions could be supported by the evidence? So, when it comes to questioning, you should seek information. Yakana, uh, sa point. Nana, what other conclusions? What other conclusions could be supported by the evidence? So. You should seek information. Kaya kana really 
kaisipan or ka nang makahatag yun ng solutions sa ka nang issues. Ganun na siya. Next is creative. What are some entirely different ways of looking at a problem or issue? So, uh, you as a future teacher, you should be creative to handling your, student, your students in the future. So, you, uh, you look with different ways, you look with different uh, procedure in solving your problems and issues. So, Next is willing to take a stand. Is the argument convincing? What is my position on the issue? So willing to take a stand. So when you are in, in the point na nanaka sa problem na na, you should stand with your foot. Diba? Diba? You should stand. You should stand yourself. Na kanabitang, kanabitang, i-prove to di mo nga, kaya ni mo, kaya ni mo nga, kanang, mabuhat ni or kaya ni mo nga makatagad ng solusyon yung na siya so next is one who shows the ability to see fight back from opinion recognizes propaganda techniques compares different sources of information recognizes important missing information uh, draws inferences that are not explicitly stated and identifies the author's background and purpose so in critical reading, uh, you should kind of it, uh, you should compare uh, different sources like di ba uh, sa kanang pan sa kanang Google sa Google or any platforms media platforms nga kanang daghan ng kanang mga sources so you should compare it so that makamugna ka og kanang kanang new ideas which is kanang bitaw ang um, makahatag sa imong ang kanang dakong natabang for you to kanang may improve ang imong knowledge so next is next is creative reading so in creative creative reading you must uh, must use his or her cognitive processes to develop ideas that are unique, useful, and worthy of further elaboration. So, in creating reading, so you should be, you should have a unique ideas, unique and also useful ideas, which kanang basta ba nato kan makatabang sa kwan, makatabang ni as for as 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 a reader, makatabang sa imuha para kanang ma ma kanang kita malaw mapalawak ang imu anang pangunahuna na siya. Next, can discover a new or improved solutions to problems or a set of ideas. So, in creating creative reading, you can discover new new ideas. So, uh, like for example, kanang may kanang tawagan yun ay piece of reflection or essay ang imong classmates and then na ikaw po lang kay pi kanang essay ang imong buhat. And then, kanang ito ang mark imong kutang sa tawagan yun kanang nag oh marami mo i-compare yung kanang bitaw nag nagbasa siya sa imuha nagbasa mo kasaya so that kanang mahibawaan nimo kung unsa yang mga buot masaya ang kanang mga ipahiwati so dito sa iya nga say you come up with new ideas so pagtanaw ni say ni si Al ah, ani di ay ani di ang ibuhat so siya po sa imuha ni plus niya so makakita mo siya sa imuha so makakabot siya new ideas then kanang makatawag sa useful ko sa iya nga mga ideas so Next is can organize ideas in different ways and make a useful comparison. So in creative reading, it can organize ideas in different ways. Like for example, wait. Like for example, na so organize ideas in different ways. So kana bita kana when kana nagbasa na ka so nagbasa ka so sa imong pagbasa kana dito makita nimo ang kana organize mga ideas so kana dito ang imong mga ideas is kana nakakwento siya na more like with procedure na siya procedure kana nagpasulod-sulod din siya sa imong pagbasa gikan sa first palandaan hangtod na man nimo basa ra na siya you have a creative way of reading Next, must not be inhibited or confirmative. 
censorship, rigid, rigid education, and desire to find answer quickly. So in creative reading, you can find answer quickly. You can assure na kato ang ima, uh, you, you will assure na kato ang ima, kato yung ibasa is kaya nang mahapag yung ima to answer dahil dili lang kay, di ba ang uban, kana na siya, like tag-answer of modules, and then kana mularigo na lang dito sa mga questions. Sometimes, yung mananap kita as a student, kana mularigo na lang sa questions, dili na basahawa ng hall. So, you should read it kung asa kung lesson gikan para katong mga questions na mga mga following questions maka-answer din ka, maka-come up din ka o dali nga answer ka, even man siya ni Basa na na siya next is metacognitive reading so metacognitive reading being aware of one's mental processes such, such as one can monitor, regulate, and direct them to a desired, desired end so in metacognitive so in metacognitive you, sh you are aware of what's mental processes. Can I be down? Can I be down? Can I move it as a hibal and to unsang yahang? Unsang yahang way? Unsang yahang way of learning? Unsang yahang. So you can use your critical thinking. You can use your reading skills. Para magibawa ni mo sa katao. Which is, can I, kung unsang yahang way of, can I? Kana pag pagkuan siya ng life nito. Okay, next is having the ability to think about and control all learning. So you have the ability to think. Yes, tanan. This is for kita magunawala na. So we have a thinking skills. Namu kita magita na na tana. And then control all learning. So dili lang kay Yes, may tanong ngayon ka na ah, gusto na ko explore, gusto na ko na explore yung sa kabutang. So, kanang imong imo bitong learning ka nang nagkuha na kayo. Kana bitong taas na bitong kayo din wala na namara na sa passing. So, you should control your own learning. Next is practicing self regulation and monitoring. So, as a reader, you should practice your self regulation. You have a uh, regulations and kanang mga kanang para kanang you practice your self regulation and monitoring so your sa imong kaugalingon is kanang you have your own kanang regulation which is kanang makatabang sa imong ha nga maka maka kuha ka og kanang new knowledge sa imong read so ma monitor pa nimo then you should practice to monitor yourself kung kung nakakatao na ba ka nakakatao na ba ka sa imong ibasa imo na na siya kung na na ba kay nakuha ang lesson na na and then also so, pra practicing self-regulation and monitoring comprehension by answering the following questions. So, these are the following questions. So, are there any words I don't understand? Oh, di ba? So, napakin ka ng mga words. Kung wala ko na ibawan, kung wala na. So, na, uh, from sa past, uh, in sa milabay na ka ng one year, na ay, di ba, na ay, na ay subject which is kang mam, kang mamuri, nga kanang di pa nagbasa, di pa basa o kanang isa ka story or isa ka about the story and then imong i-critic or imong i-panguha ang kanang mga unfamiliar words so that you really understand kung kung saan ito ay buot pa sa buot ato imong i-basa so are there are any words I don't understand so sa lihang mga parts pa lang daan pag tanang pa lang imudahan sa words and then kanang pagkuha pa lang imudahan sa words then Imo na siyang na, imo na siyang na search or imo na siyang na nahibawa na tayo, yun na So, it is easy to you nga ka nang dali na ka makabalo sa ka nang put ipahiwati sa ka nang kasi point ka na sa yung ibasa. Next is, is there any information that doesn't agree with what I already know? So, we as we as a student is, we have different kanabit ng understanding sa usaka ka ng muta. So like for example, nagbasa ko sa usaka ko at uh, ipabasa ko sa usaka ka ng uh, story. And then, uh, usaka, wait lang, isa ka paragraph. And then, lahi ang, lahi ang kanabit ng, lahi ang buot pasabot sa yung classmate to lahi ko lang yung mga. So, we have different kanang ideas and opinions sa yung nga part. So, 
is there any information that doesn't agree with what I already know? Kana bang naabay ka ng mga naabay ka ng mga information which is kana ng wala ba na wala sa dili ba kana ng wala ba na kapantay sa kana yung mga ibasa yung nala bilos siya o sa yung mga ibawat. Next is, are there any ideas that do not fit together because I can't tell who or what is being talked about? So, sa imong pagbasa, you come up with new ideas. So, at this point, kina makita ba ni mga ano bitong naabay ka ng mga new ideas which is kina dili relevant sa imong ibasa. Yun, kina wala ni mo kita, wala ni mo siya na wala ka pa ni mo siya na saktan, muna na siya. Next is, are there any ideas that do not fit together? Because I can tell how, I can tell how the ideas are related. So, o, dali na sa, is, naabay mga ideas nga, wala nga po siya na fit together, eh, wala ka, ano ba itong, dili kita ka ka, dili ka ka, dili ka katarong o ganang, dili ka katarong o analyze idea, dili ka katarong o analyze ka ng inyong ibasa, nga, na, nawala na, dili na lang siya related, kaya layo na hinoon, layo na sa inyong ibasa ang inyong mga explanations yung nana. Next one is, are there any ideas that do not, don't fit together because I think that ideas are contradictory? So, nabay ka ng mga ideas na wala nga po, uh, wala nga po yung fit sa inyong ibasa, kaya kanil ng contradictory is ka na uh, against ba? Contradict, oh, against. Against, kaya yung ideas is against, against sa ibasa. Kanang, dili na, mer, dili na ito, maayo yung nana, yung ideas. Next is, there, is there any information missing or not clearly explained? So, when you're with Gani, kanang, you should, kanang, ang mga information is image yung pangawa ng mga important details. Yung nana siya. Para ma, ma, then kanang, with clear explanation sa, para sa, kanang ma malur, na makakabit ng dalit ni mo makatunan, dalit ka makakuha o kanang knowledge about ato sa inyong ibasa. Factors that affect reading performance. So, first is what the reader brings to the reading situation. So, it is connected to what the reader. So, in the reading situation, first is the background experience. So, if this reader is they have a background experience of not really not really into reading or he is he or she is not good in in reading also wala siya na train of eye or wala siya di di pa di pa so like in the elementary days you are even even trained more in reading so she has this background experiences next is the knowledge of subject so this knowledge of subject while this kind of reader they are not really knowledgeable of the subject they are reading so ilang mga sabot sa ilang mga baling ang nalit na lang ko nis dili ko na lang masab dili ko na lang ibasawon kaya di chapo na ako na siya masabtan so kung sa dili sila ganan sa subject or sa ilang ibasa next is vocabulary also na sila yung mga word na dili nila malito ko gayo they can they can they can speak the word well Ma, dili nila mahibaw sa pamilya ato ma word. Next is the purpose. There's also when reading, there's is always a purpose. Why you read that book? Why you read the story? There always be a purpose on it. So first, for the factors po niya siya na makakaffect sa reading because if magbasa basa ng kamo, wala lang mga kabalun sa mga ibasa ni mo, wala kasi mo lang ng ano na niyong ibasa. So it is nonsense. Wala siya, wala siya ipulos. Next is motivation and interest. So kani motivation and interest if you are you don't have any motivation kung nganong nagbasa ka o wala ka interest sa imong gibasa wala jud kun kay padungan wala jud kay makaton so that is the factors that affect reading performance and also the characteristic of the written text in characteristic in doing text there is content so when you read when you write there is always a content Content is important while you while you are while you are writing in any kind of text you will you will write. So next is format or readability. So this is a characteristic format. So in this format you can be easily recognized or maka makabalo na yun ka na nanit siya pa nanit pa sulat dari ka magsugod dari ka magulay kani mo la kani mo unmon kani mo kipatuwa and Money moving idea in writing. Next is concept or imong pag-write. So, dapat 
concept, ang sana siya nga concept about love ba, about about sad story or any kind of concept na mabutang nyo sa imuhang isula. Next, organizations. This organization means that imuhang pagsulat ka nang ma-organize siya. So, in, in introduction, like we are like we are writing an essay. So, there will be, there will be an introduction, there will be an idea and that con... Sinalasan? Sinalasan? Conclusion. Conclusion ba to? Sa essay? There is the introduction, may nagiging the conclusion sa tanan ni Mungi. Right. So then, next is the author's purpose. So if you are the author of the what you write, so kung say purpose ni Mungi, ano yung nagsulat ka and the reason, kung say gusto ni Mungi ihata, kung say gusto ni Mungi ipagawas na, o kung say gusto ni Mungi ipasya sa laing leader, na nung sulat ni Mungi ha? Oh, next is the learning context that defines the task and the purpose of the readers. The reading situation. First is the setting, environment, and task and the outcome. So this learning context, nasa three. So three is the setting, environment, task, and outcome. So if you will read, if you will read, so this will be nasa dapat ka sa good environment. So Mabasa ka, masaba ka, yung hindi dyan ka makafocus And also, uh, kung magbasa dyan kung ka ma Wala, wala ka, sinasaktong ka mo Inom siya, pero wala ka sasaktong ka mo Wala ka sa makafocus Wala dyan kung siya ay kulos The next is task So this task means na uh, While you read, there is a task Or not a reason So na kay gustong buhat Or na kay ano, gustong buhat Or na kay gustong ipa Na kay gustong ipa Pan sa book Or na kay gustong sa imong ibasa na akay na dapat kayo ma-learn or ma-kuha. Next is outcome. So, muna na yung outcome. So, sa sa imong ibasa, imuna na dahil yung i-kanang i-relate ni mo sa imong selves kung sa imong ibasa. Next is the strategies consciously applied by the reader to obtain meaning. So, strategy is a systematic plan consciously adapted and monitored to improve one's performance in learning. Harris and Hodgins 1995. Meaning and strategy, so nakai imuha ang strategiya, so in reading, nakai plano, nakai, nakai, nakamonitor ka sa imuha ang buhatol. So that is the strategy. So example is the context clue. In context clue, meaning elimo scenario. So this elimo scenario, elimo na, elimo scenario is a context clue. So, or philanthropic agent, Agencies are helping the poor and disadvantaged people. So, meaning, an elimo scenario is a koan siya is a charity relating to supported supported to a charity. Mo na ang context sa sentence ng mabasa. So, mo na ang context. Next is sample is Marisol was very talkative, but Rico remained taciturn. So, taciturn means This taciturn is the context clue. So taciturn means he is this inclined to talk. So wala niya di accept ang talk ni ay wala niya di di pansin ang kitabin ni ni Marcel. Next example is Rene gave his fake ID card to the god and held his breath. The god was busy talking to a friend and gave it a perfunctory glance. So Rene breath normally again. So ang perfunctory glance is the context clue. So meaning, kani perfunctory means routine or a lacking of interest or enthusiasm. So wala siya ipag palabi o wala siya di wala siya wala siya wala siya pakibutaw. So mao na si ang sex ako sa context clues. Next is Structural analysis. So, example says structural analysis is prolonged fever made that child suffer from dehydration. So, um, structural analysis is the dehydration. So, dehydration means hydro water did don't flow. So, an act of dehydration, act of drying up. So, the next is dyslexia. Dyslexia is a reading problem that is a case related to poor reading. So, this kind of reading problem is Number one is a case na hinagi ka mabasa. If ikaw ba na yun, na nakasa senior high, senior high school na ka, but you're not good, dili pa kayo ka maayon mabasa, or dili, hinay mo ang pagbasa. So you have a dislike siya. So this is brain-based. So nanadyo na siya mo, o late, imuha, di 
ka slow learner ka, slow in mong pagbasa, you are not easily gonna makakam up sa mong pagbasa dayon. So it, it is also a learning disability. So kung hindi ka na, kung ang medyo slow learning ka, then learn ka, dali ka pa makakam dayon sa gusto'y pasagot sa mong pagbasa. Next, letter word, universal, and ability to remember, recall, written or spoken, spoken directions, and ability to recall or remember stories, textures, and Poor spelling and drawing ability, difficulty understanding, understanding or comprehending written or spoken information, left, right, directionality, or etc. So, kanyang, if kuan ka, hina ka sa pag-sulat, sa pag-hinundong, sa pag sa mga storya, o ka lang mag-recall sa sa unang sample, sa unang discussion, sa unang anong ibasa, or pas ng manggiri, hina ka nga mo, mo kuan, recall, and also, kuan, kung ang difficult to understand, dili din ka makasabot, and you have a dyslexia. So, muna ang dyslexia. Kung nakay, dinihina ka, so means, means you have this kind of reading problem. So, ang causes aning dyslexia is visual perception difficulty. So, kaning visual perception difficulty is yung mga mata. So, Visual means, wala ka nang hinatingali kong mata na makabasa na yun na maglisod ka o read. Next is, auditory perception, auditory perception difficulty. So, kanin, oh, sabot are you? So, auditory perception difficulty. So, this is a difficulty nga na connect sa imuhang, sa imuhang, Brain or sa mong tandungog ba na mag-isod ka o this is a difficulty nga nung nakay dyslexia. Next is language perception difficulty. So, kanil language perception difficulty like kung mag-ibasa English, so di hina ka or di ka kasabot ng English, then you have na diligent ka makasabot kaya di makakasabot sa English, so diligent yun yung mga makuha nung sa inyo ang ibasa. Next is an effective reading instruction. So, ang in effective reading instruction is ang sa teacher, the way ka dituluan sa inyong teacher, dili siya isang pag-ibabasa na yung nagmangalisod na word, isang napaka sa grade 1. So, dili dyan, dahil dyan ka maka, taro magbasaan na if dili sakto ang iyang iyang paghatag o iyang sa teacher sa ibabasa ng mood. Next is the correction. So, saan na ito ni siya pa? Overcome na problem ka ng kislik siya. So, it's improving left-right directionality. So, for this left-right directionality, so left-right na ito, right-right, atong i-exercise. So, atong, the way na ito-exercise is read every day or always be active or diligent ka magsigi lang o kung mo. Mag-quadro ka, mag-tatong ka maagi na maka-try ka, mamubasa din step by step so first is direct ka sa sudot sa linay lang pa nga sa yun lang sabdon sabdon na sabdon na pasahunon until magkalisod-lisod until until na makuha dahil mo next is improving laterality so one yung improving laterality is kanang step mo na siya sa sudot ka sa pinakauna pangkatuwa pangkatuwa to yung magkalisod na next is so this improving coordination so you will coordinate not your own not only your brain but also your body so in in terms of doing doing things na makasamot sa imuhang problem hindi problem like this like siya imuha siyang i ano siya i overcome so by exercising ba exercising your mind exercising exercising your body lastly is the intensive chronic instruction program so this is a medication called siya na makahelp sa imuha na naapod sila'y pamaali na kung saan niyo pag 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 be better you will be better you will you will overcome this kind of problem and that should be all